No reasons to stop it. I wouldn't do it on my own. I can't deny it. This is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome you to my channel. This is my second time trying to start this video. I'm um, actually third time. <laughs> so three might be significant in this message. Lord, I started at 2, 1222, then 1226. So those numbers also may be a synchronicity in this messages tonight. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Energies. We got to get it right. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button so you get notifications. I'm doing a three card spread um, on everybody, and um, I'm just I just want to send some healing. You know, I have a big um, heart chakra candle here. Looks like a candle, my crystal. Okay, so I want to just spread some love on my channel. Um, just throughout the airwaves and through to the collective with my message. I have some amethyst crystals displayed. I'm speaking against any energies that's trying to come upon my channel to interfere. I'm asking and I'm praying to return that energy back to its rightful owner with my protection eye there, evil eye to protect my message and just my energy. Where is my spray? I'm going to spray some holy water. I've already cleansed my table like twice now. <laughs> All right, collective, grab your teas, <laughs> your snacks, whatever have you, and sit back and relax while I deliver this divine message. Uh, just really was feeling led to do this. My card's already been shuffled. It's already been cleansed with crystals. I have sprays. You can also purchase those online along with the crystals that I have here on display, except for this one. <laughs> and uh, this one, I will be having these. Um, Turbaline helps you with... Uh, keeping you grounded and uh, protecting your energy from uh, negative energies along with the obsidian. I do have this. I will be host posting this online. Okay. All these crystals you can bathe with, you can sleep under the pillow with, uh, you can carry it with you. These are good energy cleansing and grounding and connecting to higher source crystals to have. Trust me, like every day. <laughs> okay, again, I'm going to go ahead and do two articles along for tarot reading tonight for everybody. Um, this is literally like my fourth time doing this video. So fours can play in this reading card spread. Number-wise, synchronicities we're talking about here. Okay, I usually, uh, my reading, I read from um, current energies and then I go back into check to see what the past energies was. Okay, so um, right here is the current energy that we're in at this time. Um, this definitely is resembling our Earth um, signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, and we'll dive into the meaning in a bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Oracle Past Life deck. And that is showing here. It says leaving or traveling, if you can see it. And we'll definitely dive into that meaning. Art interpretation. Okay, we're going to put that right there. And this is my latest oracle. Uh, this was calling to me, and I was just like, I have to get it. <laughs> Especially the meaning. Um, 
of it there. This Nusian Galactic Council. And that is just beautiful. Very bright and vibrant cards. It feels very good. And we'll dive into that meaning in just a bit. Okay, so the first deck that I pulled was from Dreams of Gaia. This is a tarot deck. Um, and that is called the Eighth of Earth. Okay, if you can see it. Um, its keywords are growth, the meaning of it, manifestation, accomplishment, success, abundance, wealth, and appreciation. The key phrases, um, this also could mean again, success, wealth, and love. Uh, do what you love and love what you do. I can, I can relate to that meaning. Make plans for the future. A time of abundance ahead. Confidence in a future outcome. Ugh, we all can use that. Do not rest on your laurels. Mm-hmm. Money does not buy happiness Oof. and lose the lack mentality. This is a deep card here. Um, to me, it definitely states all those. Um, I see the colors, purple. And again, I just mentioned I had a them um, amethyst um, as crystals surrounding around my deck tonight. And she's holding literally a purple, like an amethyst crystal herself. She has it around her wrist, around her solar plexus. She has that color above her crown as well, where it should be. And also around her third eye. She also has some as makeup <laughs> on her eyebrows. And she has that crystal amethyst on her staff so this definitely is um she's full of wisdom this can also stands for a male as well this reading is not gender pacific and go for both genders um but she's standing with confidence and yes of appreciation um of herself or himself and um, it's just showing that, um, you know, we have to take stock. We have to take pride. We have to stand in confidence in, um, in what we do as well as in, uh, sorry, guys, as well as in um, just appreciate Mother Gaia, you know, take pride and love and nurture. Uh, into loving our earth and grounding ourselves, you know, um, and when we take care of ourselves, when we take care of uh, grounding ourselves and Mother Gaia and taking care of nature, it eventually takes care of us in return. I see a torch there above the crown. Beautiful. I see a lot of red in there too. Mm hmm. The third eye is definitely open. And um, as in the eyes, wow, I see that yellow shining from her eyes, like on her cheek. You know, so they this car could be of a um, different uh, culture, descent. I just got a um, spiritual burp there. Oh, yeah, I see a lot of keys on here, too. So this person um, is the key, pretty much. I see a lot of uh, luscious plant and growth coming from this card. And they're shining their light. You know, uh, one of the key words is said to love what you do and do what you love. And they're definitely standing and they're proud and humble 
and confident. They, they look like they're loving what they're doing. And it just looks beautiful. It shows success. It looks like success. It looks accomplished. When you're loving what you're doing and doing what you love, it shows. You know, it shines bright on you. It shines bright through you. You know, um, I stepped out. Me and my daughter, we stepped out and I met this fella. Um, if he subs if he subscribes, he'll hear my story about him. <laughs> but he literally said, I can tell y'all are different. Like I was talking to him, he said, I could tell just your energy is just different. He said, I could tell you y'all are walking in your purpose and you know, just the aura that you have shows your energy shows a lot you know you don't have to say anything at, at, at um, any given time you know if you are walking in your purpose or you're just doing something you love and you're enjoying life you know and you're living not to um, <laughs> to just survive but you're living to live it shows in your whole being it shows in your in your walk it shows in your stands it shows when you're talking it shows when you're just moving amongst your being being you you don't have to say much you just walk into a crowd and you just shine your aura your energy just illuminates those around you and it illuminates yourself um, another word that sticked out, it was saying not to rest on your laurels. So yes, you know, um, don't sleep on yourself. <laughs> Spirit was saying to me to tell you not to sleep on yourself. Get up and get moving. Get up and do something that you enjoy doing. And maybe that could become a hustle. You know, your side business that could become a part of you and a part of your being, you won't even realize that um, it's a, a job. It's literally your life, you know, that you're creating. You are the author of your life. You are the narrator, author of your story that you can create here on earth, you know, so don't sleep on yourself. Okay. And if others are sleeping on you, so be it, but don't sleep on yourself. <laughs> this one really stood out to me and it's shown a lot of green as well. Very luscious growth. I just saw 1111 on my time here. Um, it said money does not buy happiness. Money is a, a is a necessity. It is a resource. It does help you. You know, it does make a way out of no way for you when you need it. But so many people out there that has it and has everything that their heart desires and that they others can fathom, but they have everything that they want and they can still be unhappy. It does happen out there, and I'm sure y'all seen it, not only in movies, but in real life. I'm sorry, like celebrities, like what in the world? It just, I'm sure you heard that saying, new levels, new devils. Like the more money you have, more problems at times. It depends on your intentions and what you're doing with the money. It can be root of all evil. It depends on your intentions and what you're doing. You can have a lot of money and be happy. You can. Again, it depends on your intentions and what you're doing with your money. You notice when people have it all and they just be like, what next? They're looking for the next thing. They're looking for the bigger thing. They're looking for the shiny thing. And they get it and they still feel unhappy. Money can become the root of all evil again. But when you do have it all, what are you going to do with it? 
what makes you happy is when you give to receive. I've been hearing that a lot, and I know that's confirmation for me. But when you give, when you do have it all, do you notice that the people that give, they feel happy. They feel like they've, they're have alive again. They feel like they have some meaning in their life when they're helping other people less fortunate that needs it. It makes them happy and gives them the reason why they made the money that they have or the status that they're at. It gives them purpose. So yes, give and you shall receive. It is good to share. It is good to give. It depends on your intentions and who you're giving it to. And again, why you're giving it. Money can become the root of all evil. It depends on your purpose and your intentions on the money and with what you're going to do. Okay? Because we can't take it when we go, right? It's going to rot. It's going to be for the next people to fight for and steal, kill and destroy each other for. You know? It becomes blood money eventually. So it depends on people's intentions. You know, you can have it all. It could be luscious. It can be growing. It can be a seed that we plant to manifest and harvest, you know, and benefit from. But when you have it all, what you're going to do with it is my questions to the collective. But again, it says here, to uh, to be happy. You know what I mean? When you have the money, you can be happy or you can be unhappy. It depends on your attentions, collective. But yes, this woman, or it could be a man, they're just standing with so much confidence and they look like they're holding the future in their hands. Um, and it looks like they're loving what they're doing and just how they're looking, they look so alive. It's beautiful. This car can say a lot, a lot. And uh, mentality wise, when you clear your mind, you clear your thoughts in nature, that helps. It says here to lose the lack of mentality, you know, so we got to Work on our mindset and our mental state. And how you can do that is grounding yourself. This card shows a lot of grounding. When you're taking a break from your daily tasks, going to run an errand, that relaxes you. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it relaxes me. It clears my mind and thoughts and, you know, it just gives me a break. You know, when you're taking um, a vacation, you know, I said here on this card here, traveling and leaving, maybe this is in your horizon collective of leaving and traveling to a beautiful destination. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can get that study there. There we go. Leaving or traveling. This could be in your horizon. I see a luggage on a train track. So someone could be taking a trip now on a train. Mm -hmm. But it is in your uh, horizons collective. You know, plan a trip, think about it, and then start taking actions towards it. Okay? Traveling to a destination to... Again, refresh and renew yourself. I was just talking about taking a trip myself. You know, so we all got to, you know, make the, the take the initiative and, and, you know, start planning pretty much. And if you're leaving from a trip, I'm sure that feels good. I'm sure you feel rejuvenated and relaxed and refreshed, recharged. That's what trips do. 
when you're leaving and traveling trips and and uh, experiencing new surroundings and atmosphere and experiencing uh, just doing new things. It fills you with wisdom. It fills you with experience. And I would love to do that myself. So we need to plan. (laughs) We need to plan for gaining more wisdom and gaining more experiences out there. Traveling to safe destinations at that, because every place is not always uh, appropriate to travel. You know, you got to plan wisely when you're traveling. Um, but when you're traveling too, do you know what that does to your, to your health? It makes you feel younger. You know, it depends on your, your intentions again, and where you're traveling to and what you're planning to do during your travels. It leaves you feeling so vigorous and so youthful when you're traveling and experiencing the world and you're grounding yourself. Traveling helps ground you. Experiences help grows you. Fills you with wisdom again. You literally age backwards because you're enjoying seeing new things, eating new foods, having fun, just doing all types of activities, and you're just embracing Mother Gaia. So I am claiming that myself, traveling in our horizons. I'm claiming that in Jesus' name. (laughs) All right, so that was called the Eight of Earth from our Dream of Gaia. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Venusian. It's called Venusian Galaxy Council. We're going to go ahead and tap into that. Really, really appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, With my reading, again, let this message be of healing and encouragement to activate your soul, to awaken you, to uplift your spirits, okay, and continue to encourage you. Okay, so this is called, or it says here, star being guides. So these are star being guides. It looks like there's like four to five of them. And it says, answer the call and your time to shine. I can relate. So when they come to you, the Venusians, these are advanced cosmic beings and they're similar to angels who come from a planet of Venus. They are our stereo ancestors and are dedicated to helping us experience and embody divine love. There are millions of them and many us many of us will have them working with us as guides. If you feel drawn to this information or strongly connected to the stars of star people, there's a good chance that there are many ancest- extra ancestral beings around you. At this time, many of whom will be connected to the Venetians uh, Galactic Council. I just got a little short of breath there. This is a lot to take in. Governed by Lady Venus and Satnan Kurama of Directors, who are responsible for recruiting light workers, wow, and leaders on this earth who have potential to make a huge difference. 
by following the call of their souls. When they come to us, it's an honor and opportunity to be reminded of the connection that we, or that was, activated before we came into this incarnation. There's no set way of working with the Vunitians, but they will contact us in our dreams, meditation, to share information that will support us on our journeys. They often send spiritual downloads in thought forms or understandings. Dreams about flying or being in space are other ways in which they will come to us. So how you can connect to the Venetian's uh, Galactic Council, how you can connect to these light beings is on a bright, starry night. And you can say to them, Phoenician Galactic Galaxy, thank you for helping me answer the call of my soul. Wow. This is from, again, the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle deck. This is powerful. This is, this is, it's, it was a lot. <laughs> I was starting to get winded a little bit reading that, uh, especially the way I was standing. This is beautiful. Like it's, it's saying literally answer the call and to shine your light. It's your time to shine. These spirit guides, these star beings, guides is saying to you tonight, you know, to wake up. To not sleep on yourself. To go out there and be yourself. Go out there and shine your light. This is definitely encouragement for me. This is also towards the collective. To just be yourself. You know, I, I definitely wasn't expecting to be adding tarot um, with my mindful messages. Not at all. Not at all. As much as I, you know, uh, use tarot for guidance, you know, um, I pretty much seek more from my divine first, you know, and then tap into other sources. But I never in, in my life would imagine me doing this. Okay. Um, but this was shown to me that I was doing this. And I said, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm sharing this beautiful message with everybody tonight um, through my life, through my light, through my voice. You know, um, this is a deep message. It's very powerful. It's saying to answer the call. And that's what I did. I answered my call. And I'm doing it no matter what anybody say to me, no matter what anybody say behind my back, no matter what I hear, no matter what I see, it's what God sees. It's what these Phoenician Galactic Council star beings see. It's what the angels see. Those are who you answer to. The higher realms is who you answer to. Nothing else matters. Nobody else's opinions and what they think of you and what they say matters. Because when God speaks, oh, you better move. <laughs> I'm telling you. And like I said, you know, just by him showing me I was doing this, I was like, is that me? When God shows you you know, your potential, when God shows you somebody that you can become or that you are, he's showing you that in the spiritual realm ahead of time. So then you know it's so. We just have to step out and get off our loins and step out on faith and just do it. Like the Nike say, just do it. 
you know, it takes practice, it takes consistency, you know, it takes a lot of courage, especially if you're not that type of person, you know, to just get up and do things. It takes a lot. Trust me, I know, I understand, collective, to step out of your shell and out of your comfort zone. It's so uncomfortable, right? But when you have faith in God, because when he shows you that in the spiritual realm of what you're doing, or what you can do, he has faith in us before anybody else does. So that speaks a lot. Collective, you should be like jumping for joy when you do see yourself doing something in the spiritual realm first. You're planting seeds up there for you to do it here on earth. That speaks a lot, collective. As above, so below. It's already done up there in spirit. Now they're just waiting for us to plant it here on earth. Plant our seeds here on earth and get grounded for us to grow. That speaks a lot. That's how much faith God has or the universe has in everybody. You know, we just got to step out on faith, to step on that fear, to step on anything that tries to come in a way and distract or try to throw us off our path. It is not so. You bind that spirit or energy up and say, get under my feet. I'm going to trample over you. And I'm going to keep on going. You're going to be my footstool. If that's what it has to be. For me to become or for me to be who God says I'm already am. You are a star being collective. So shine your light. That is powerful. Powerful message. Okay. I'll quickly go underneath to see the past energies to see what they look like. Not going to go too much into detail with them. But yes, I wanted to just dwell on the current energies. Okay, collective, thank you for sticking around. I just pulled the past energies and it showed uh, the Atlantis. Um, it shows two dolphins in the ocean. So this could be uh, collective, possibly part of your past life. Uh, you being part of the Atlantis uh, tribe. Okay. Past energies, uh, this talks about Akashic records. It says here to clear old stories, release past lives, and to be free. That's deep. That speaks a lot. And that's what we were definitely talking about of just shining a light, not to sleep on yourself, get off your loins. <laughs> And this is a card, um, Sean Maiden. Brand new beginnings, collective. You will have brand new beginnings if you're already, um, already not already in it. You will have brand new beginnings. Okay, this could be for male or female. Barefoot, enjoying Mother Nature, enjoying Gaia. Letting nature fill your energy and you fill theirs. It's like a receptive energy that we should give to our earth and give to ourselves and start brand new with life, with purpose, with passion, releasing the old for the new. As above, so below. When God shows you, believe in that. And it is so. For you to have a brand new beginning, you know, from your past life, clearing old records, 
claiming traveling in your horizons that you will see different parts of the world with guidance with light beings around you and in your life helping and guiding you and as well as you becoming that light source yourself holding that light source in your hands and sharing your wisdom sharing your experiences from your travels and of your past life and doing it with and doing it and feeling free doing it and feeling of passion doing it and feeling love in it and excitement and enjoyment this message is of healing this message was of life a reminder to me and hopefully to the collective to have faith you know to walk in faith to believe anything is possible respect mother nature respect gaia you know go ground yourself go heal yourself out there in nature whether it's in travelings your daily travels or future travels you're planning to take and take it with the right intentions and initiative you know of showing respect to mother gaia and to yourself this goes for me as well as the collective to move on and heal from our past wounds and current <laughs> you know and look at that as a uh, reflection time you know when this occurred this definitely like pushed me to sit still this pushed me this accident pushed me to to rebuild and to heal and reflect on what was important cuz we can get sidetracked we can forget you know with everything going on in each and everybody's life collective we're all busy here and we get we get busy we get sidetracked and we forget sometimes to keep still pretty much to sit down relax keep still and take care of ourselves cuz we're so busy taking care of everybody else that we forget to take care of ourselves. I did my nails the other day like that. <laughs> I was just doing some things. Be creative, get creative, take care of your yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself. And this accident definitely um made me do a lot of reflection of of that you know and when you're going through tragedy you can tell who truly cares for you like i did a lot of reflection you could tell who's really there by your side and who's just there to be nosy to see if you are okay not really okay but just to see how much pain you're in you know what I mean and not really caring to the people that really care and making sure you're okay on a daily basis when you're going through things like that it will help you sit back and observe life what's important who's important in your life not just when you're going through tragedy but just in your daily life my family is important and those that came and catered to me and those that came and show respect and those that came to show some concern and consideration matters to me they matter any old things i need to heal collective you need to heal we all need to heal together and just delivering this message was healing within itself 
when I share my stories and my testimonies, it is healing within myself. I'm releasing and I'm letting go of a lot of old stories. I'm clearing, I'm clearing it. I'm releasing it to encourage you, but as well as to heal myself because I am a light being. I am a light worker. And you are too, collective. You are too. I thank you for tapping into this message. Again, hit that subscribe button, like, subscribe, and share this healing message. This was a healing message. Big time. Meditate on your crystals, sleep with your crystals, bathe your crystals, carry your crystals. <laughs> Trust me, it helps, guys. You know, check my website to clear your mind, clear your headaches. Um, I have some reviews on my site blog that was stating about one of my sprays, Clarity Spray at that, how it just helps clear the energy and helps with your headaches. I believe that these items that are created from my own hands is created with light and love and with good intentions, my healing hands. Check out my site. That will bring healing, cleansing, and peace in your life. I am a witness. Others are a witness. Okay. Collective, if you like to donate to my channel, I'll have all the information in the description box below. Um, if you like to buy me any cars or would like to see what I have on my wish list, Amazon. Um, again, I'll have that as well in the links below uh, to enlighten and awaken and to speak life to the collective. Tap into my wish list um, and support my channel with donations to help me provide to spread my light. I'm also accepting uh, personal readings. I'm open for that at this time. Uh, so you can see the information down below. Okay. It can be on love and life. It can be on career and money. Um, I'm opening that up as well. And it just focuses on you. Okay. Collective uh, with the bookings. Um, so again, all the information will be down below. Tap into my light for me to shine some life, bring some life into yours. We both heal each other. Okay. And again, if you like to tip or donate, um, my cash app and PayPal will be down below. All I ask is for you to just request me as a friend for the PayPal part. Okay. And thank you for sticking around. I'm sending to the collective tonight. When you get it, believe it and you shall receive it. Blessings, cleansing, peace, and healing. This is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Until next time, guys. Peace. Take care. <laughs>